Hello internet, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install your onboard ethernet adapter for your Windows Home Server 2012 and also Home Server 2016. Now the original motherboard drivers from the website, from the manufacturer are not working because they do not support Windows Server 2012. So as you can see in the bottom right here, we currently have no network at all. So. I'll leave the link in the description, but you need to download the latest Intel LAN drivers. And as we can see in our network center, we have nothing. So extract the folder onto your desktop and place that in a new folder, as we can see here. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to actually open command prompt and run two lines of code. So click start command prompt. Now I'll leave this in the description, but for the video sake, I've put it in a text document. Click copy, go back to command prompt and click paste. You then click enter and you will see it says it su it's successful. Once that's done, we need to reboot the computer. And once that's done, obviously we'll come back to the video. Okay, so we have rebooted the computer. What we want to do now is we need to make some modifications to our uh, drivers. So we go into the Intel drivers and we want to load up the Pro 1000 folder. We then click Windows X64. Now here we'll have MDIS64. This will be required for Windows Server 2012. If you're running Windows Server 2016, then you click on the 63. So we need to click on NDIS 64. Now we need to open up the INI file. So we're looking for E1C64X64. So click on this, it will open up a notepad. Click Control F for find, and we want to click Control, and then scroll down, and we want to delete these three lines of text here. So we just delete those. Scroll down again. And we're looking for E1502NC. And we want to highlight all four lines of code. Then we want to copy them. Now we need to scroll down and paste them in this section here. So just below this uh, 1502NC. Click File, click Save. That will then save that INI options. We can close that. Then we can go back to the uh, driver's uh, folder. So then we need to scroll down, click auto run and install the drivers. Click next, accept, next, next, install. So if you try to do this with the motherboards, uh, drivers from their website, it will come up saying it does not support this operating system. If you just try and install the basic Intel LAN drivers from Intel, then you get no adapters found. So, so this takes a minute or two, just let it run. Okay, so we click install this driver. So ignore the fact that it can not verify it, click install. Saying that we'll install the drivers. And now notice in the bottom right corner, we have picked up a network card. So we are picking up our internet access. We then lose it again while the drivers are installing. We can then click finish. And now in the bottom right, it will identify our network. There we go. We have picked up the internet and we are picking up our network switch, which is located downstairs. We can now close all the rest of it and we can load the internet as normal. And then under the network and adapters, we can now see that we have our ethernet adapter.
and we can see there that our speed to our network is one gigabit. So thanks for watching my video. That is how you install the onboard ethernet adapter for your Intel motherboard using Windows Server 2012. Now take a look in the description. I will have all the links and uh, uploads that you need.